We're gonna try something a little different today. We're gonna to do something I've seen other people do before, but I haven't actually tried it myself. Um, I'm gonna take a couple old horseshoes out of the scrap pile over here. Let's see. Oh, do I got any without any nails? Let's see. That one. We're gonna take four shoes. Sure. Take these four shoes, weld them together, make a billet, and we'll make one nice horseshoe out of it. So, let's get those shoes there and we'll uh, figure out a way to get them all wel forge welded together. Then we'll turn it into a horseshoe. So, got to get the forge jizz lit. Got a little bit of snow on the ground, so let's get after it. Let's get some warmth going. get these shoes we got to straighten them out fold these clips over and then we'll get them uh, sat on top of each other and weld it over so I think what I might do is I'm gonna just uh, straighten it out fold it over on top of itself and I'll weld it together and I'll see how much one makes and then we'll go from there if I need to add two three four or whatever so let's uh, get in the fire and get this thing straight Try and clean it up just a little bit before I uh, get it hot before I weld it or get flux on it. Trying to weld that. This is just Iron Mountain Flux.
see how long we got. About three eighths. Nine inches. So one aught made a nine inch little billet by, I bet that's five eighths. Yeah, about three eighths by five eighths. So we need another shoe. This one's a little bit bigger. This is like, uh, this is a size two, so let's get this one whipped out, straightened out, put into a billet. Fill her up. Let's weld that baby. Just trying to get everything stuck right now. Let's see how wide we are. We're at three quarters there, and I bet that's just over three eighths. So maybe this shoe, this one shoe, would give us enough to make something out of. Well, there's our welded billet from the big shoe. Size two. Made about nine and a half inches there. And that is three eighths, three quarter. Whereas this other one, we're at three eighths. Thickness, about a half inch short and uh, an eighth inch narrower. So I might just try to make a shoe out of that. I don't know if I really want to weld all that together by myself it's a lot of work so let's try it see if it'll split well nine and a half four and three quarter let's make that our outside eh what are you doing there boy Wrong cones. Now we just make a horseshoe. Maintain the same radius. Now we'll flatten it. Now he's got to put a heel on, turn a branch. Do some bouldering. Easy peasy.
put our heel on. I had a big uh, blob metal right there, so I was trying to get that out. I'll probably have to do a little bit on the sand on this other side. Touch the seal one last time before I turn the branch. Try not to hit my camera with the hammer. This is where I messed up. I didn't mark any of my fuller, and so it's going to be kind of a waste of heat. Flatten it. Now let's do the other side. Let's put our heel on. I'm a little thin there at that heel, so I'm trying to back it up. To give myself a little bit of thickness. Quick little round heel. Let's turn it. Now we can mark some fuller. Use a T-square here. Don't touch it with your hand because that's hot. Put fuller in it. Yeah, you can still kind of see the groove from where the old horseshoe was. Try not to hit my camera. Free Sam. Go Hammond.
coba
damn near lost. Need to find some pictures of that splitter deal. Here we are, horseshoe made out of another horseshoe. Repurposed. 